Specifically, there are multiple treatment options available for both arterial and venous ulcers. And again, starting off with identifying the cause, trying to maintain a healthy diet, decreasing hemoglobin A1C in patients with diabetics, stopping to smoke in anybody who continues to smoke. Um, crucial is wound care, debridement, getting rid of any type of infection that's possible. When it comes to other treatments, procedural types related to arterial or venous ulcers or combined arterial and venous ulcer, you have to identify the problem. If there's an arterial flow problem, meaning not enough arterial blood flow is coming down towards that wound base, there are several treatment options to try to open up those blood vessels, uh, including an endovascular approach, which usually requires an angiogram and some sort of revascularization, either using a balloon an atherectomy type of device to clear the plaque, uh, and if needed, a stent to uh, prop open that blood vessel. Additionally, venous ulcers um, usually need some sort of a compression, whether it be mechanical compression, an unaboot type wrap, or the like, which is typically done by the wound care center or at the podiatry uh, clinic. Additionally, if identified for venous insufficiency, such as reflux, either in what we call the greater saphenous vein, which is the area where people tend to see those bulging varicose veins, or in the lesser saphenous vein, there are ways to close that vein down with certain types of medication or laser or other treatment options to actually close those veins down. Additionally, some other aspects of a venous ulcer can be seen in patients suffering from edema or fluid in the soft tissues. And again, the main treatment option there is to treat those superficial veins, but also we tend to look at the deep veins as well to see if there's any blood clots or if the blood flow returning towards the heart is abnormal, there are ways to try to propagate uh, that blood flow to go back toward the heart and uh, decrease the edema and swelling in that area.